<laughs> Seems to be working. Okay, just waiting for Medic Sears here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As usual, Maelstrom behind the mic for a new stream of Grim Dawn. I'm just looking for a link which I cannot find for some reason. Gosh darn it. Uh, Yep. Uh, there you go. Where is he? So I am playing with medics. However, he does not have a working microphone at the moment. So you will only hear my beautiful voice. Uh, so I am playing a shield breaker. He's playing a spellbinder. I will mostly tank and do some melee damage, trying to aggro the monsters and do some uh, some area of effect damage, which is. Which is the exact opposite of him. He has more focus damage from what I can see. With this giant green beam. Uh, so yeah. So we are playing what we, what is called the Shattered Realm, for those who do not know. Whoop! And I'm dying. Uh, Shattered Realm is some similar to Diablo 2's Rift system. Basically, it's an infinite source of um, enemies coming and with an ever increasing difficulty so each each of the rifts we conquer is harder than the previous one uh, and we finished this one so as you can see there is a portal coming looking for the stream <coughs> so 
So the clock we use see here is not a game over one, it's just that if we can beat it while we reclaim our reward... What? We get more loot, but... Did I messed up? Yes, I did! Ah, that's what happens. So yeah, as I was saying, we are playing different classes, very different classes, and some of the stuff I use he can benefit from and vice versa. For instance, he has this aura that I benefit from that will be very useful, which regenerates my mana. Uh, so also when we quickly slay enemies we get more time on the clock hmm is using the frozen sky shard okay so so he has a very unusual build Neither of us are um, pro Grim Dawn players. I'm just relatively experimented and I have pretty good gear. But, but even then, it's not perfect. It's. Uh, we should have gone the other way. This is a dead end. So I do not do that much damage, that much direct damage, but I mean I have great survivability and great burst damage. Like I have got a lot of meteors casting all the time, which is very convenient. And I also have the apocalypse. We have less movement speed, but we have better crowd control resistances, which is pretty nice, actually. Crowd control is very annoying when it's from the enemies. And I don't mind getting slower. I mean, we're not in a hurry. We are here to have some good time. No need to. We're here to fool around a bit. And of course, get some loot. But if we do not get all the chests, it's no big deal. Damn it, he's dead. No, he's here. For some reason, that little display here is gone. Okay. Ooh. I don't know what was that, but probably some kind of enemy. Ooh, I see a big enemy. Time for a big explosion then. I also have a lot of near death proking uh, abilities. Like when I get at 30% health, I've got something that gives me a temporary time of invincibility. Which is pretty convenient. But the thing is. The the biggest problems I have with that character 
is that sometimes I get one shot by some very powerful foes and even with the near death resurrection and here is the first boss where is he? this is not a boss okay So yeah, we progress by uh, shards. Each shards is four chunks. The fourth one being a boss one. Well, the, the, this boss one was pretty disappointing, to be honest, because well, there was no real boss. It was just a few heroes. It was not that interesting. But sometimes you have very powerful ones that come. Well, damn. Ah! Clean up that mace. Okay. One thing also key that is pretty appreciable is that when you complete the the chunk all the enemies are dead you just need to fill that bar and the enemy die well you just like in that case it, it's easier said than done in some cases <laughs> we're progressing pretty quickly right now because for one we're two and uh, those are also the first ones so they are easy. There is no BL, uh, big trouble yet. Uh, oof. Mm. He's using devastation, which is pretty good. I don't remember all the skills he uses, but from what I can see, he has some very good ones. And done again. I don't remember. No, he does not have the eternal haunt. He has ravenous earth, okay. Probably as a proker. <laughs> oh yeah, he follows the stream, so he probably wants to showcase. Thank you, Mizo. So yeah, for for my part, I'm mostly using the Eye of Reconning, which is a whirlwind, basically. This. Uh, I am using Virus Might, which uh, pff, missed. I just have to wait. Which is basically a charge through skill. Pretty convenient. That kind of explosion you just saw was judgment. Which pulls off weaker's enemy towards me. And uh, knocks them back. So it's a crowd control one. And one of my favorites is the Blackwater Cocktail. Basically it's a big Molotov. And one other chunk conquered. Oh, I triggered the apocalypse without paying much attention. Okay, so this one is a dangerous one. Since he does not have a star above his head but a skull, that means he's a boss, actually. But yeah, as I mentioned, where to is the easiest shards. But now. The real deal starts. 
No, not yet. Yes. Uh, casting speed. Uh, that will be problematic for medics. It will reduce the potency of his laser. But for me, it will have no consequence. Since my skills scale with attack speed and not casting speed. Uh, the floor is lava. Also, I'm using the thermite mines, which look like this, but they are not an attack skill actually, they are a debuff. They reduce my enemy's resistance to fire and electricity by a significant amount. Let's go that way. Also, you may see that, as I mentioned, there are a lot of meteors coming. And that's partly due to my gear, and some are due to my devotions. Uh, I don't know if... I never take them. They are a waste of resources. Nah. No. no. Cannot say no. Uh, what's the effect of that one? What? Minus crit damage, but better. Resist to crowd control. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I have pretty good uh, crits. Uh, crit stats. So this will not bother me very much. It's just that those shrines are often trading trading a stat for some others no problem medics you can use you can use we are here to experiment i have very good uh, i i have very very good crits so due to my offensive stats so doesn't bother me. Would have bothered me more if it was harming my defenses. Because my defenses are a bit just. But yeah. No. If it's just lowering my defenses. Then my offense. It's no problem. Uh, so far, Medix uses still the Vanilla version of his laser, so he deals either fire and lightning damage. So my debuffs also benefit to him. And I have a lot of debuffs to reduce fire resistance. Trust me. Basically, I, I, I'm i not sure I do more damage, uh, twice the damage, but I do almost twice the damage. Damn it. Once all my resistance reduction has been dispatched, yeah, their resistance are completely broken. That was hard. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a bit just just. I'm waiting for him to come. Because I don't really want to go in the Where is he going? Oh he died. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, well, that happens. Also, death does not penalize you by stopping your progression. It just slows you down. But where you are in cooperation like that, it's it's more more easy to deal with since 
your ally can still deal with it. But it can be very problematic in some some encounters. Like for instance, I would not like if uh, if he dies during a boss fight, since he's really the damage dealer here. <laughs> I'm really the support, debuff, tank, whatever you want, but the big boom is all done by medics. I have a lot of stuff that really debuffs, but yeah, my damage is weird. <laughs> I have very good damage over time, but in instant damage, I'm low. And the boss. One boss, okay. Sometimes you can have several. Which can be pretty dangerous. There we go. It was easy. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> so yeah, I know that Medix's goal is to find a a certain set, which is very good for uh, for his class. And my goal is to find one as well, which is not particularly good for that class, but for another character I have and that has no good gear yet uh. My bet is that he is using Red Venus Earth to proc a devotion. Not really as an offensive thing. Yeah, you can see that once medics comes, the, the fight lasts a lot less. <laughs> Like, uh, I think he, he deals at least three times more damage than I do. <laughs> okay, we'll finish that one. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah, it is four times more damage than I do. <laughs> I deal like between 25 and 30 damage per second and it is a 100k <laughs> but yeah the the thing is that both our stats do not take into account the enemy resistances so 
he... I don't know what his resistance reductions are. I don't know if he has any. But I actually do a lot more damage than than just 25k. It's taking a sip. Mm. He has the arcane bomb, so he has, I think, 15% uh, resistance to ether. So, yeah. Yeah, well, as I said, uh, I have multiple sources of resistance reduction. <coughs> Uh, for fire at least, and I deal almost twice the damage listed. Yeah, that apocalypse is just great. Uh, we have to climb. Playing a melee character, you do not like shooters. Ah. This is the biggest problem with this game, the small corridors. And staircases in general. Small bridges, whatever you want. But all those small passes, they're just annoying. Okay, done. Hmm. We may actually beat the clock. No, oh, boss already? Oh, two bosses. This one will hurt. Uh, I hope his bleed resistance is okay. Well. Yikes! The boss are dead. Long live the the bosses taking a sip mm. <coughs> okay shard five if we can finish this one we unlock the first checkpoint which I already have it's the, the first five shards are okay. It's after that that it starts being tedious. Shattered souls, uh, for one, they fill the bar and for, for us, they also... Uh, yes, yes, we can grab loot after the fifth. We, we can grab the loot at any moment. Uh, just, just the the deeper we go, the more chances we have to get legendary loot. But if you want to to stop, we can. So you can have something. But at the fifth one, we usually have one, maybe two, legendaries at most. So. Yeah, well, if we want to restart at the checkpoint, we need to craft those um, waystones that cost an arm and a leg in terms of uh, of component crafting and such. So that's why I prefer not using them. But yeah. If we if we claim the loot, if we claim the the loot. Uh, we have to restart or use a waystone. 
It's not claim the loot and go deeper after. No. Ah, come on. So we, we will see once we get the uh, once we get the the fifth boss. Once we we kill him, we'll see what we do. I will leave medics master of the decision oh yeah i i i have to to say it's way easier in uh, in co-op than it ever was in solo and i did a lot of solo shattered realm from uh, from shard 1 to 5 and yeah i never wrecked it that fast so also my characters are not really optimal so yeah this is actually the first decent character I have Damn. we are really rolling over them I no way I was right I was fucking right <sighs> Boss already? Well? We can farm We can farm those shards, it's pretty good. It's well as I said, it's decent. Blueprint for a relic. So we get both separated uh separated loot. So I got no legendary. Uh, but I got a relic that I did not have. Uh, bleeding res. So actually, pretty good. Yeah. So it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Those two are completely useless to me. Uh, the sphere of many blades. Right, you have purpose. One. So yeah.
What is better? <laughs> uh, ah, okay. Waystone would be better. I don't know if if I have actually. Uh, that's the runes. Uh, so it should be here. Shattered Waystone. Yes, I do. I do have. I do have materials for the Shattered Waystone. Just the Eldritch Essence that I'm not swimming in. Okay. So, starting from here, beyond that point, I never was. <laughs> okay, we have three mutators. We have less armor. It's problematic. We have. M okay. And we have. Ooh, that will be good for medics. More either. But we both lose Chaos Resistance. And Chaos Resistance is definitely one of my weak points. That should do. Oh, yeah, well. My bad! The Red the Monster is right. Well. Chaos res. So, so actually, it's a bad thing. Since they will resist more from Medix's attacks. So, offensive ability buff means that we will do more crit. Crits. Uh, we have more chance to, to do critical hits. But since we have less critical damage, we will do less damage. And then those hit like a truck. Vital essence. I may be wrong, but I think that my charge actually taunts the enemy just going to check after the first boss mm. proceed further There. There are enemies. Strike. That was brainless, that was completely bad. But completely worth it. Because even if you are not a badass, you must look like a badass. <laughs> Damn, the energy regen that medics provides is just awesome. My mana just never goes down. <laughs> I 
I can spin to win forever. <laughs> Fairy Octis, pretty useful, gets invincible for three seconds. Oh, damn. Those traps, Peters, call them whatever you want, are just fucking annoying. They cannot be destroyed, they continuously attack. They are just a pain in the neck. Ah! We need to kill the weebs. This one is highly resistant to fire. Okay. Bring down the apocalypse. Two. That was intense. already? Dang. Keeper of the whatever. Woohoo! Oh! Ah! Damn it. Ah! Help! <laughs> My main abilities are on cooldown, damn it! Sorry, medics. <sighs> yeah, I'm playing on windowed. This is why I have sometimes problems where I click out of the fucking window. Okay. I'm trying to to kill the little one, but the big one has focused me. Okay, now we can get to the big boy. Shouldn't be harder to kill than Lokar. Uh. You. He died too. Uh, just checking thing. Yeah, it does.
If we stop now... Uh, if we stop now, we get half the loot. We need to get at least one shard more to get full loot. Oh, dang. That's not... Uh, shard 50 easy. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Seeing how shard uh, 10 is, uh, is killing us... And now, in uh, in addition to the either bonus damage they have, they will have more bo uh, bonus poison damage. It will be a clusterfuck of DOT. Damage over time. Sorry. Oh yeah. I didn't even see what was the trade-off of their additional thing. Uh, vitality res. Like, if we had a vitality caster, it would have been just awesome to have that. Some kind of occultist that would have gone for... Uh, how do you call it now? Um, Doombolt, that does chaos and vitality. Oh, tentacles! Bring on the Japanese... the Japanese animes fanboys. Bring on the weebs. <sighs> oh, we done it. Yeah, actually the those levels are not that hard, but the boss levels are starting to get tedious. And if I'm not mistaken, we should not have an additional mutator before at least before at least shard uh, 16, so... Because you can at maximum have 6 or 7. So, yeah. Maybe it's 8. I don't remember. Yeah, let's stuck on the wall. Ah, damn it, wasted. It's not for the mana cost; it's just for the fucking cooldown of the of the spell. Yeah, wait, now I'm thinking of it. His arcane bomb also benefits me since... Since I do also some lightning damage. Oh ho ho. Oh ho ho. Bingo. What? Ready? Ooh, we have two bosses. Salazar Blade of Ketan. B 
B-I-N-G-O. Easy peasy. Yeah. Yeah, th this shot was easy. Yeah, I'm pretty amazed with how Medics did his character because he seems to never lack mana. And with with the skill he uses, it's definitely something that I have trouble with. <laughs> yeah, pretty good optimization. So, either he has crazy energy regen, or he is drinking potions like an alcoholic. <laughs> Vote in the comments below. Subscribe, like, donate, <laughs> and send panty shots. No! <laughs> do not! Do not! Yeah, uh, we. I. Dots are annoying. Yeah, sometimes you you think you are out of harm, and just the dots, poisons, and such are just coming. Nope. I'm here, motherfucker. Yeah, pretty annoying. Especially considering that. All the melee attacker do poison damage and dot. So better have a pretty good poison resistance. Oh, 
I actually do some chaos damage with my devotion. So that can be used as an advantage, but the damage is negligible. Ah, got frozen. Move! Yeah, crowd controls are awful. One and he has trouble with the second. I priest would do not know this one. Name does not ring a bell. There we go. Okay, the goal is to go shot fifteen. Fifteen, we will decide what we do. Ah, damn it! There are some of those special chunks with a particular perk, like those goddamn traps. But there are others that are way more fun. I just wish they could drop more often. Oh dang. Uh poison dots. Medics. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. Yeah, too late. Holy moly! Dang, clicked out again. And there we go. That's an enemy, and it's that's an enemy. The didn't know this. Uh. <laughs> stupid male is ma is stupid. La 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 la. Whoa, they hit hard. It was 
just on the limit of dying here. Ooh. Sandstorms. Those are interesting. Uh. Four heroes at the same place. Medics died. Yep. Bingo. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, he told me he is really a glass cannon. <laughs> Already? <laughs> Is that a joke? So the levels are not uh, randomly generated, they are handmade, uh, but the order in which they appear in the Shattered Realm is actually random. So you never know what you're gonna get. Like being in a cave and having a sandstorm. Is this... Is there anything I missed or is it not actually possible? <laughs> I sucked at geology at school, but I think I did not skip that chapter. Oh boy. Yeah, the sandstorm can be pretty dangerous. Yeah, don't be so impatient, medics! <laughs> I'm slower than you! Ah, dang, interrupts. And he's laughing now. Ah. Oh, that's what I call luck. <laughs> 
portal opening just at our feet. Yeah. And I'm not sure, but I think at chart 15 we may have our first hardcore encounter. I'm not sure, maybe it's later. But I think chart 15 starts this, the um, nemesis spawns in the boss uh, in the boss area. I know it happens at some point. I'm not sure it's this one. Oh, wait, already finished. Huh? I thought there was one chunk more. Come on, come at me. Be man at me, bro. <laughs> That's what I call a tank. Lot of little shits. Um, medics, just out of curiosity, did you take in the Arcanist branch a spell called Nullification? It looks like a blue whirlwind. Get out of here. They shall not pass. No, I'm not. Mm. It's a pretty useful one. It uh, removes all the benefic aura of your enemies and all the, mal uh, the curses we get. So... Just investing one point in this is pretty interesting. Especially when you have dots all the fucking time. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh. But as I can see, you already have quite a lot of spells to manage, so adding one more will just make it hardcore. I find, find myself already troublesome with six spells. Seven if we count the main one, but yeah. Oh, that's a nemesis! Told you! But I thought that was only bosses! 
We are in a deep shit, Alexander is in, he's a bitch. Just absolutely avoid that green meteor. Yeesh. I think he caught it with his head. Uh. Oh no, I think he dodged it. I don't know if he, if he got killed. Damn it! I, I I will uh, uh, grow him uh, medics. Okay. There, there is a chunk of enemies here. Oh, yeah, Alex is definitely not an easy one. Uh, no, go that way. Ooh, I smell I did a bad choice. I chose poorly. <laughs> Perfect. Ah! Talking a wall again. <sighs> so, what do we have? Uh, I have three bosses, no nemesis. Good. Oh, the amalgamation. This one will be a tough one. Uh, maybe mistaken, but I think there is another one that is also. Specialist of either damage, which <laughs> blood binder, uh, not dangerous. Oof, one skill point. Good, Shattered Explorer, Shattered Pathfinder. Loot or shoot. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got one more chest, which is nice. Oh, and we got Eldritch Essence. 
Blade Fury. Mythi mythical frigid barrel of the relentless north. Stormguard. Ketonic seal of binding. Blade Dancer. Baltier's armor. I already have it. The full set. Uh, yeah. So. No legendary again. It's weird. Usually it's shot five. I I have one. So what's this? Sins of the Forgotten. I have one. Oh well, good on you. Uh. Storm guard. That's interesting. Blade dancer, neither. Blade fury. Do not intend to. Either steel. Been there, done that. So. Oh, I wonder. Uh, no. Why? Hmm. I was supposed to give... Oh, damnation. Uh, Doombolt, Chaos, Converted to Right, Ripping Strike. I could use it. I could use it. I know I have a build that I will do around Vitality. But it's not going to be those classes, though. Although occultist, yes. Occultist ripping strike second, right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, let me give you. Those Oh, yeah, we've got a skill point to spend. Uh, where did I want one? one? Oi. Not actually sure where I can where I can put it. This 
one reduces all resistances. Just one point. Oh, that was fun. So with that said, I will cut it here then. Uh, and see you next time for more co-op of that. See ya!